Okay then guys, we're back inside of Helldivers and today we have got so much to talk about. We have got so many cool posts coming from you guys as well as the factory striders are now being spoke about big time and we're going to talk about customizable mechs with a hidden leak at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for it but don't worry, we'll make sure we announce when we hit leak territory so you guys who don't want to see it will leave at that stage. But nonetheless, let's dive on into it if you haven't already smashed that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated and on top of that check out our sponsor control freak the number one in controller gaming aiming that's right we made it rhyme but not only that if you guys head down to the description right now click the link and use code cloudplays at checkout you'll get a cheeky discount of 12 percent and yes it's much better than 10. so with that being said let's dive on in to the information inside of hell divers 2 today so starting off we have got around eight hours remaining on side of the major order where the objective was to take Marfark. Currently it is completely liberated and we are absolutely fine although tomorrow morning will be issued with a new major order as we obviously have to control this until the order expires. So keep your eye out guys at the moment that this goes on a defense order which I'd be surprised at this point if it does. It seems like a clean run home so make sure that we keep an eye on it but it should be okay nonetheless. At the moment though everybody seems to be a Using the factor that we are no longer needed inside of the automatons and have a giant spread of people heading over to Fori Prime to help liberate that one, as well as Martail, which seems to be quite a big push as well, uh, considering people are pretty much preempting the next major or major order. So it should be interesting to see how this one pans out. But feel free to attack absolutely any way you want to and help the liberation at hand. If you fancy a bit of bugs, now is definitely the time to do it. But with that being said, let's dive on into some of your community posts that have got quite a lot of attention. One of which is this one right here, which is a cosplayer who has utilized his skills for Helldivers 2. And it actually got noticed by Arrowhead, which is hilarious and really well made. This thing, though, looks absolutely mental. They've put so much time into it and it looks like an actual Helldiver, weapon included. I know. I kind of want it. I really want it. To be fair, we're still looking to purchase one of the Helldivers helmets. It's definitely on my books to get for the end of the month. So I see all the emails that you guys are sending over to me, but we are going to get one very, very soon. But moving on from that, though, we've got some interesting posts. This one actually tickled me quite a lot, and it made me think quite heavily about the community as an overall, where it comfortably states the following. It's hilarious how, because they made factory striders more common, every reserve's a big boom just for that. I joined four difficulty eight pubs. In all four, we had multi-drop factory striders at some point that lasted for about 10 seconds. Literally, as soon as we saw one, anywhere from six to eight stratagems would follow. And I'm talking 380s, lasers, 500Ks, rail cannon, walking bar barrage, cluster, eagle, airstrikes, the works. These were all pubs, but everyone was on the same wavelength. Drop big boom boom on big robot. Imagine the perspective of the striders. Giant mechanical menace. Peak bot engineering it gets dropped with two of the same. Within five seconds of landing, six orbs with red beams aimed at the sky fall at your feet. Chuckles, I'm in danger. Yeah, this is hilarious and I absolutely love this. And this is pretty much the main mentality for Helldivers 2. And Helldivers as an overall, from what I gather, it was pretty much the same concept with the original game as well. We just like making big explosions and making big things go bye-bye. So for me, this is awesome, I love it. I am back from Spain tomorrow, so we're going to be diving in and I'm going to get some time inside of Helldivers and put in a fair few hours because I've bloody missed the lands of liberation. So make sure you stay tuned to our Discord down in the comment section below because we're going to be jumping in with you guys and diving in for as many dives as I possibly can before my eyes fall out. I'm just saying. I'll see you down there. Moving on though, a really weird consensus that actually works quite well was this one right here. It says, what if 
mechs were modular, so every exosuit can be equipped with one of the two, like Gatling guns, rocket pods, jeweler, auto cannons, flamethrowers, and you can customize each arm so that you can go in with the weapons that you actively want. This would work tenfold and would work so damn well, it would actually mean that the mechs were probably more usable other than when they were in like an eradicate or something like that, which is pretty much the only time I use a mech now, was when it's just pretty much get dumped into a really small map, stand and shoot. That that's when my mech comes out. Other than that, I don't really take this thing with me because it's very situational and especially with the weapons at hand, it's not really something that is utilized to a heavy degree because I just wouldn't want to use it that way. So this right here is an absolute yes from me and apparently it is from you guys as well with 8.1 thousand upvotes on this. It seems to be probably one of the greatest maneuvers inside of the mech universe that needs to come at some stage or another. Just give us another major order where we have to fight for the mechanical power parts on it just give it to us please now unfortunately the rest of this video is going to be realmed inside of the leak society this is going to have some very big insights so we're gonna let you guys know now that this is your warning and if you do disappear before you do then make sure you get involved with our giveaway today we're giving away a copy of helldivers 2 and don't worry if you already got the game we are going to be giving you guys the money equivalent in super credits very simple very easy all you have to do is head down to the comment section and give us a blue heart in the comment section to show your love for super earth that's all we need. It's just a blue heart. So get down there now, comment that, and we'll announce the winner on the community page and in the Discord, which is now nearly 11,000 people large, by the way. Link in the description if you guys want to get involved with that. Everybody in there is absolutely incredible. We always have such a blast over there. So make sure you join up and we'll announce it in the giveaway announcement sector of the Discord. That being said, though, let's dive on into the leaks at hand. So this is your warning. You now need to go if you don't want to watch it. Have you gone? Yep, I think they've gone. Anywho, moving forward, we have got this right here, which is a new leak piece that was released 15 minutes ago, as far as recordings go. This was 15 minutes ago it dropped, and this is a Hive Buster. Now, this is going to be a new objective. As to what this is actually going to do, we are not 100% aware, although the description that was linked to it was that the Hive Buster is a bug exclusive objective. Your team will be told to locate a nearby underground Hive core upon finding the hive core you will call down a hive buster you must defend the hive buster while it drills into the hive core once drilled into the hive core the hive buster will deliver a nuclear payload capable of blasting that hive core into oblivion he goes on to state that i suspect it will be a main mission objective that will be delivered by the pelican credit to aj on the discord for finding the animations now i absolutely love the idea of this this is crazy anything that ends with a nuclear cluster is just going to be in the good books for me i don't think you can really word it any other way this looks like it's going to be great fun although the actual mechanic of this does look like it's kind of like not built for the bugs but maybe that's just me being a little bit finicky maybe that's just the overall skin texture that it was given but it doesn't seem like it would be but nonetheless we've got a new objective coming for the bugs as to when it's actually going to turn up though we'll have to wait and see i'm presuming it's got something to do with the tcs it should be quite a big factor with the massive reproduction rate of the tcs that it's going to cause this could be something which is going to try and eradicate all of those hive cores which are now reproducing terminids like they're going out of fashion that's right because now bugs are like rabbits and they're at it mother truckers they're bloody at it now unfortunately that's all we've got time for today thank you so much again for watching guys if you haven't already make sure you like subscribe and as always i'll see you in the clouds